Hey, this is Brent Arnold, and today I want to show you a cool new feature in Flash Professional CS 5.5, and it's kind of been around in various forms. Uh, it's called Code Snippets. Now, let's go ahead and create a new ActionScript 3 file. And if you've been around, if you've worked with Flash, uh, do you remember behaviors? And it was real popular back in the ActionScript 2 days when you had uh, different movie clips and symbols and things on the stage and you wanted to add, you would click and drag, you would add behaviors to them. Now, ever since ActionScript 3, when they introduced the document class and they really, you know, went more of an object-oriented language, they kind of did away with behaviors because it kind of broke the model of object-oriented. You know, there's code everywhere and it's a real pain to debug. And so now we have uh, a new implementation called code snippets. Now, I, I say that teasingly, but code snippets really actually are a little better and they give really good working examples of uh, what how to work with certain uh, aspects of development. So, for example, um, there's all sorts of things. There's animations, there's things for mobile. These are really good because they deal with uh, mobile APIs and so it really shows you how to use them. So I like it. It's nice. All right, let's look at one here. Let's look under animation. And with animation, it says fade in a movie clip. So if I click that, and then I come over here and I choose the info, this tells us uh, specified I was updating alpha property within the inner frame. Okay, now if I click here, I can see uh, the code and there's some comments here. And there's stuff here that says instance name here. Like, um, if I were to click insert, it's going to say, hey, you need to replace instance name before you can insert. Click and drag to choose uh, to choose an instance. So what that means is it needs to know an object on the stage. Well, I don't have anything on the stage, so let's uh, click over here and let's click a square and we'll choose square. We'll click and drag and we'll draw something. Go ahead and press V. Double click and make sure everything's selected. Go ahead and press F8. And uh, we don't need to worry about advanced. Let's just make sure this is a movie clip. And we can just reference it as square. Go ahead and press OK. And let's give this an instance name. If we look over here on the properties tab, this is selected. And then in properties, we have what we call the instance name. This is so we can reference it in code. So I'm going to call this square. Go ahead and press Enter. All right, we now have our instance name. We have an object with an instance name. Go ahead and click Code Snippets again. By the way, if you don't see it here, uh, go under Window and Code Snippets. Go ahead and select that. Now let's choose Fade In. Go ahead and cl click here. Now if we click and drag now, we can notice we have this little whip symbol. We can click and drag and say, hey, there it is. And notice it's updated the code so that all of the references are now set to square. So go ahead and now, this is where the magic happens. Okay, press insert. Ooh. Ah, ooh, it fades out. Ooh. Okay, so what that did is it kind of said, hey, look over here. Notice in the actions, it added a frame, a layer, and then it added a frame, and it added code. So to look at that code, select that first frame, go ahead and choose Window, and choose Actions. This will pop up the Actions panel, and here, notice we have the code that we just saw. So this here is a code snippet, and now let's go ahead and close out of here and save this. Go ahead and just... Uh, Save it. We'll just call this code snippets and click save. All right, now let's test this. Uh, the simplest is go test movie and test. Now go ahead and launch it. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. I like that. All right, now let's take a look at code snippets one more time. And again, notice that you have a lot of options, and I would really encourage you to walk through, walk through, 
to look through all of these and you know read the code snippets read the different things here uh, let's see add one let's see what happens let's go ahead and choose insert Ooh, it's been inserted now question of the day is did it add it or replace it let's see let's go ahead and test this bad boy see what happens Ooh, hoo, hoo. we combined it yes look at that rotating continuously let's take a look at the code select that first frame choose window choose actions check that out it added it and since they had the instance name wow ooh. now <laughs> the problem is it's got well we got 200 frames and we got all sorts of stuff going on anyway I wouldn't recommend that you code this way directly but I would definitely say you should take a look at these code snippets and it'll give you a great sense of how to create content using it and really get to get to know the new uh, mobile API's especially